In this video you will find the solutions to all kinds of stutters in OBS. And yes, this is including those pesky random stutters that seemingly appear out of nowhere, ruining your perfect gameplay footage. But before that, I want to cover everything else first, because the solution to those pesky random stutters is so complicated that you should iron out the basic stutters and micro stutters first before dealing with that. There are seven different components that are causing stutters and micro stutters in OBS. Let's fix this one at a time. Number one is the GPU driver settings. In this part, I want you to check that your main monitor that you are using for playing the game is connected to the GPU slot on the bottom part of your back of your PC, not to the top part where it is connected to the onboard graphics instead. If it was in the wrong slot, then move it to the bottom slot, then restart your computer. After that, open up your NVIDIA control panel and change your global settings just like this. If you have an AMD graphics card, then you should search for the equivalent settings and change those accordingly, but I cannot guarantee that it will work 100% because I do not own an AMD graphics card to test it out. Also make sure to set exactly just like this, as these are the critical settings that affect how OBS interact with the game. Yes, you have to turn off any frame limiters including third-party softwares like RTSS, Bandicam, or anything else. Power management must be set to maximum performance, because if not, then the GPU clock speed will go up and down all the time, causing synchronization issue with OBS. This is very critical. If you do not want stutters, you must set this to maximum performance globally. There is no other way, at least until OBS fixes their synchronization problem that I will cover in the last part of the video. Low latency should be set to ultra, because it can help minimize stutters in fast moving scenes. For the OBS program setting, you must turn off VSync because we'll be using that later to fix the synchronization issue. Now on to the number two, the Windows settings. Type game mode in the Windows search bar and activate it. Then, type graphic settings in the Windows search bar and turn off hardware accelerated GPU scheduling. But please do not restart your computer yet. This will greatly reduce micro stutters from your streaming and recording. After that, Click Browse and look for OBS64.exe in your OBS installation folder, then click Options, then choose the GPU that you are connecting your main monitor with. This is to ensure that OBS is communicating directly to the GPU that produces the game images, thus making the capture operation efficient and stutter-free. Now on number 3, I want you to change the CPU settings in the BIOS. But if you're not a PC enthusiast, I recommend you to ignore this step because I do not want to risk anything to your PC. Instead, I want you to restart your PC now to let the previous settings take effect. And please bookmark this video first so you can come back to my video to continue. For PC enthusiasts, please turn off all of these power saving features in your advanced CPU configuration in the BIOS. Since I do not own an AMD CPU, I can only tell you the list of Intel power saving features. Please look for the equivalent settings for AMD users. Also, if you own a 12th gen or newer Intel CPU, please turn off all e-cores by going to the MS config, boot tab, advanced options, and check the number of processors, then select only the amount of P cores you have, including the hyperthreading. For example, in my 12600K, it has 6P cores with hyperthreading and 4E cores, meaning I should select 12 from the drop-down menu so that Windows will ignore the last 4E cores. Yes, those E cores can cause micro stutters in your actual gameplay due to the imbalance of power level between the cores. Now please restart your computer, change the CPU settings in the BIOS, and please come back again to continue. Welcome back, let's continue to number 4, the encoder settings. In the OBS streaming or recording setting, if you have the QuickSync H264 option, use it. This will offload a few encoding power from your discrete GPU to your Intel GPU instead, so you will get an extra few FPS for your gaming performance. The best settings for recording under QuickSync encoder are very fast, baseline, keyframe 1 second, Rate control CQP, put all three CQP values around 15, set latency to normal, and set B frames to zero. 
This will guarantee the fastest encoding speed as possible. For streaming, you can change the preset to medium or very slow, depending on how good your Intel GPU is. Change the rate control to CBR and put the appropriate amount of bitrate according to your streaming platform, like 6K for an example. Next, put 2 seconds in the keyframe interval and 2 in the B frames. You can also turn on the subjective video enhancements if you have the option, but if you experience skipped frames due to encoding lag, then turn this back off. For recording on NVENC, use H.264, Rate Control CQP, CQP Level 15, Keyframe Interval at 1 second, Preset Max Performance, Profile Baseline, Uncheck both Look Ahead and Psycho Visual Tuning, Set the B frames to 0. For streaming, use CBR with the appropriate bitrate, change preset to max quality, change keyframe interval to 2 seconds, set B frames to 2, and check both look ahead and psycho visual tuning. Now let's continue to number 5, the output target. If you record your gameplay on your hard drive, there is a bug in OBS 27 and older that can cause the encoding to skip some frames randomly, causing some micro stutters. This has been fixed completely in OBS 28, so if you insist on using your hard drive, please update your OBS to the latest OBS 28. But if you have to use OBS 27 for compatibility reason, then change your output path to a faster SSD or an NVMe drive. You can also work around this by using the replay buffer feature if you do not own an SSD or an NVMe drive. You can start the replay buffer, then save the replay buffer, then turn that back off. The downside is that it will eat up some of your RAM during recording. Next, number 6, the OBS settings. Go to settings, then go to the advanced menu on the left, select high on the process priority, and close your OBS. Next, right click on your OBS shortcut, click properties, advanced, choose run as administrator, hit OK. Go to the Compatibility tab, check Run this program as an administrator, hit OK. This is also a critical step because without running OBS as an administrator, there will be some stutters especially when streaming or recording on ultra high resolution desktop such as 4K. Now, we have finally arrived on the last part, which is the most important and complicated part of all, so please focus on this one. In this part, I will teach you how to eliminate those pesky random stutters that appear every few minutes or so. These seemingly random stutters are not random at all. They come at an interval, depending on the frame rate difference between your monitor refresh rate and the recorded video frame rate. The smaller the frame rate and refresh rate difference, the longer the interval, but when the stutter finally happens, the longer the duration before it resolves by itself. To demonstrate this, I recorded my monitor screen using my phone camera to show you the synchronization issue that is causing OBS to stutter like this. As you can see, there is a scrolling tearing line that is moving up or down that indicates a synchronization issue. Ideally, you want this line to stay as static as possible, not going up or going down. Because once the tearing line reaches the top or bottom, OBS will stutter. This tearing line movement is also affected by the GPU clock speed. This is why on the earlier part, I said you must set the power management to maximum performance. By setting the power management to maximum performance, your GPU will have a constant clock speed throughout your gaming session, thus making this tearing line stable. Unless, if your GPU is hitting power limit, then the clock speed will be throttled down and could cause some stuttering issue. This is also why VSync is very important to keep your GPU usage well below 100% to keep the clock speed stable. Now let me change the video frame rate to 61 frame per second to demonstrate to you that if the frame rate is 1 frame per second higher than the monitor refresh rate of 60, the stutter will appear at every 1 second interval. As you can see, every 1 second, the tearing line reaches the top, causing OBS to stutter. Now if I change the frame rate to 60.5 frames per second, then the OBS will stutter every 2 seconds. If I change the frame rate to 60.25 frames per second, then the OBS will stutter every 4 seconds. And if I change the frame rate to 60.125 frames per second, then the OBS will stutter every 8 seconds and the stutter will appear longer too.
Now we know the formula for the stutter interval. It is 1 divided by the frame rate difference. Before applying my fix, my random stutter was as long as 20 seconds full of stutters with around 13 minutes interval. That is because my monitor refresh rate was at around 60.001262 Hz. Using my formula, 1 divided by 0 0.001262 equals 792 seconds, which translates to 13.2 minutes interval. Those stutters encouraged me to do this research and finally able to find the solutions after spending weeks of countless testings, PC restarts, and thousands of game recordings. My first solution was to set a custom refresh rate on the NVIDIA control panel, and I inputted 59.999 Hz instead of 60. This quickly bring my monitor refresh rate down to a closer 60.000114 Hz. But with that number, it will still stutter every 146 minutes according to my formula. My second solution was to set the video frame rate in OBS to 60.000114 frames per second using the fractional FPS value. To find the perfect values, you just need to use your calculator and find a random number that when multiplied with your monitor refresh rate, it will generate a number with as small as possible decimal value. This will 100% fix the random stutter issue for recording, but not with streaming. This is because streaming services would not accept those fractional FPS value and you'll end up with network error when trying to start the stream. So for streaming, you'll need to use 60 frames per second, and there's not much you can do besides tinkering with your custom refresh rate on your GPU driver to make your monitor refresh rate closer to 60.000000 Hz. But luckily, I have found a trick to somehow reset the synchronization, so whenever you are about to stream or record, you can reset it first, and have plenty of time to stream or record before the stutter happens. The reset though, cannot be applied during the stream without stopping it first, so make sure to reset it just before you start streaming. Here's how to do it. First, close all your games, then open up the UFO test website, which the link is provided in the description below. Then, create a new scene and add a window capture source in OBS. Pick that browser window with the UFO inside. Crop that window to the UFO bar only. Then resize the UFO bar to completely fill up the screen by holding the shift button. Now you can see the position of the tearing line right there. If you can't see the tearing line, move your cursor over OBS window, or try restarting your OBS, or make sure you have set the VSync option to off for OBS program in your GPU control panel. When the tearing line reaches the top or bottom, it will stutter. If your actual monitor refresh rate is above 60 Hz, the tearing line will move down, so you would want to start your streaming when the line is on the top area. This will give you plenty of time before the tearing line reaches the bottom and causing OBS to stutter. If your actual monitor refresh rate is below 60 Hz, the tearing line will move up, so you would want to start your streaming when the line is on the bottom area. Now if the tearing line is not on the place you want it to be, you can restart the OBS and hope that the tearing line will be in the correct spot. Give it a few restarts and once you find the line in either top or bottom, then you can start streaming. Lastly, here is a table which shows the expected time before stutter. Depending on your actual monitor refresh rate, if you start streaming when the tearing line is in the middle. Next, I will show you the result of all these settings applied. I have recorded my 4K desktop with a Forza Horizon 4 demo benchmark running while moving the MSI afterburner window rapidly and erratically to try to induce stutter. As you can see, the recorded video looks very smooth with no stutter at all, even though the MSI afterburner refresh rate is set to 100 milliseconds interval and being moved around so rapidly.
I can also do this with my 10 years old system which has a 3rd gen Intel Core i5 and a 7 years old GTX 960 in it. So yes, you can use older computer to capture smoothly as long as you set all the settings right. So to summarize, here are all the settings that you need to apply to achieve the best result for OBS streaming and recording. I think that's all from me. This video is the result of years of frustrations trying to solve the stutter issues in OBS. So please share this to anyone you love that might benefit from this so they do not have to be frustrated anymore. Thank you so much for your love and support.